Okay, so uh, first thing that we're going to do, is we are going to uh, modify it. We are going to have, uh, we're going to change when uh, Chloe by uh, Honor is going to be. Uh, so we want to go with, uh, nope, October. It's going to stay in October. We're going to go with uh, week 2 of October, that should uh, give us about 3 or 4 weeks to uh, book the show because I want to go with this here, Motor City Machine Gun storyline, which is only going to last for like the month, uh, but uh, I, I think it's going to be a decent enough storyline, story and uh, yeah, so save an exit, oh wait, no, wait, uh, da, 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 da. modify, is everybody going to be available? Come on. Uh, week 2 of October. Yes, everybody should be available there. Uh, okay. Um, maybe we have a uh, somebody come in. Talent trade. Um, Four appearances. Uh, who could we have come in? Uh, New Japan. A bushy. Does she not work for? No, sorry, Abushi works for uh, New Japan, which I actually thought he uh, worked for. Worked for uh, Noah a Dragon Gate, one of the two, but uh, no. Okay, uh, so I have offered a Koda Abushi a written deal because he is somebody who will help me take this company forward so now we're gonna have to uh, pause it here and go ahead and book the Frolic show from our last pay-per-view just quickly before we book our next show we have confirmed that Koto Abushi has signed uh, with the company so yes on a written deal so that will take seven days to take into effect before he can actually uh, begin to work for us so uh, the show has been booked so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, put it on so first of all we start off the uh, night with a uh, 55 minute match uh, which lasts about six minutes between Roderick Strong and Cedric Alexander Roderick Strong picks up the uh, pinfall victory after hitting a Gibson driver 65 overall in ring uh, sorry in performance of 65 for Roderick Strong and 48 for Cedric Alexander. And then we go to a... Uh, a we, we see uh, the Fallen, uh, Roderick Strong and Hansen and Raymond will all celebrate in the ring. So then we see uh, Lufisto in the ring as she picks up the mic and says... Uh, at, on Saturday night at... Uh, all-star extravaganza Beth Phoenix proved once again that she cannot beat me cleanly I want another shot at her title and uh, then that goes into her match which is a 56 minute match against Bu Buggy Novo which is a woman that we brought in for this match specifically and another six minute match where uh, the first two wins by submission uh, Seventy one overall rating for the first two, which is fantastic to see. Uh, then we see a uh, as the first two uh, celebrates, Beth Phoenix comes out and attacks her. So that is gonna book a match for our next pay per view, Glory by Honor. That match has now been booked. Uh, then we see another match with Jay Lethal as he takes on ACH. <coughs> And uh, he uh, wins by pinfall after hitting a lethal injection. 
60 overall in ring, uh, sorry, 60 in ring performance, sorry, for JD for and a 57 for ACH. So not bad at all, but the crowd did get hotter. Hopefully we can increase our match ratings as the night goes on. But uh, JD Four picks up the mic and uh, you know he politely asks Adam Cole to come down to the ring and Adam Cole does so and uh, he says uh, you know on Saturday night we had a fantastic match we took each other to the limits and back to the point where we couldn't even respond to the 10 count and Adam Cole says it was a great match and next week is my last week as the uh, authority figure here in Ring of Honor and by God it's going to be a good week as you and me will have a rematch next week so that is going to be a match for Ring of Honor Wrestling which should be fantastic as a main event uh, also <coughs> I'm really really sorry about that that was very rude indeed uh, I had to clear my throat though but uh, by the way for that uh, match that is going to be for both the AOH Championships Pure and World so then we go into our next match which is Noam Dar who takes on Hansen. Now we give Noam Dar the win, keeping his win streak alive. And uh, although uh, Hansen takes a pinfall uh, loss here in the uh, just before the seventh minute, um, that does him absolutely no uh, n- no injustice at all. He is uh, still on a very good push. A defeat to Noam Dar is not going to hurt him at all. But that is a 54 rating for Noam Dar and a 76 rating for Hansen, which is fantastic. So uh, our next segment, by the way, that was 63 with it. Our next segment is a uh, video backstage where Adam Cole, Nick Jackson and Matt Jackson is there. And uh, Adam Cole says... uh, I told you that you had one last chance against War Machine, but because I'm in a pretty good mood next, and I need to have a good show next week to try and get more power around here, he uh, says, you will go up against the machine guns. And when you go up against them, when you defeat them, you will have one last chance to prove yourself to me as you will take on a glory by honour the world champions for their titles so uh, this here really is to uh, try and get more titles into the blacklist as they look quite weak at the minute but uh, this is what we are going to do to try and make them look stronger so that the match has been booked uh, then we see the main event a 73 with a match between Alex Shelley and Kenny King. Like a lot of our television matches, there isn't much motivation behind this here one. It's just two fantastic competitors taking part in a high sports match. Uh, 86 with a main performance for uh, Alex Shirley and for Kenny King a 64. And the uh, last 13 minutes before uh, Alex Shirley can uh, pick up the pinfall victory against Ke- uh, against Kenny King in the 13th minute with a shell shock and then we finally end the show with a 74 minute promo as Alex Shelley celebrates in the ring with his title Chris Saban comes out and says are you forgetting about the fact that we didn't retain our titles and that Alex Shelley uh, says no but maybe if you were a better in ring performer maybe we wouldn't have lost our titles and uh, Chris Saban it sort of takes offence to this, you know, trying to defend himself, and he's kind of like, well, uh, next week uh, we will be getting a qualification match for those titles, and you better be on the top of your game. So you can see where that sort of friendship is starting to diminish a little bit. Will it completely diminish? We'll have to find out. Let's uh, end that show 67 with it. Uh, night isn't too bad. Uh, the crowd was disappointed by not getting any matches that had the matching being set is really I thought I did but uh, so if we did do that we would have been a better show but 67 overall with increased popularity in 23 regions is not to be argued with so uh, the yeah uh, <laughs> with uh, that we are going to end the video here thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah